another video review, and this time we're taking a look at the Iron Man 2 comic series Iron Man figure. Now, this is the way Iron Man looked in the cartoon, or not the cartoon, well, kind of cartoon. Uh, I think some of the cartoons kind of resembled him, but more specifically, the comic series. As you see on the side here, it's number 26 in the line. Very nice, again, nice looking packaging. I really like the way it looks. It's using the Iron Man from the movie look. Um, comes with the blast off figure stand. That actually really kind of intrigued me. That was the main reason why I wanted to pick this guy up, because I, I might interchange the stand if it's possible with your other Iron Man figure. Really nice packaging, but you can see here on the back the nice takeoff look of him with the flight stand thing right there. You see the Iron Man Mark I, the comic version. Comic version, oh wait, no, that's Yep, that's the comic version of War Machine and the comic version of the Crimson Dynamo. Really nice looking. I really like that uh, Iron Man. By the time he joined the Avengers, Tony Stark had already modified the Iron Man armor several times. This version incorporated the latest in transistor and magnetic repulsor technology and even allowed Iron Man to fly. So uh, in, ter in terms of the difference, you know, I mean, the, the comic version... Well, the comic continuity differs than what the movie put forth. So, in in the movie, we saw that he was able to fly from pretty much the very beginning of at least. Well, the, the Mark One, he kind of could fly, but not very well. And uh, then you saw it with the Mark Two, and then finally with the Mark Three. And this resembles the Mark Three a little bit more, but really nice looking. Um, I don't know, three armor cards. So we'll see. It, it I think it looks cool, but. Let's get it open and we'll see. Okay guys, so here we have the comic series Iron Man open up and out of its packaging. Now, one thing that people are gonna notice is he's a lot more yellowish um, as opposed to the gold color that a lot of people are used to. This is, like I said, the comic series version of him. So people that are fans of Iron Man through the movie may not necessarily like this guy quite as much because it does have a different look to him. Now, in terms of the figure himself, as I said, he is a little bit more gold or yellow this removes. Uh, one thing that you do have to be careful about is if, if you look at his hands, as you can see, the, the, the fingers are already kind of warped. They're normally, oop, they're normally like that, but you can't see because that's in the way. They're normally like that. Um, as you can see, by having this on his hand, it's already warped the pinky finger itself. Or although, I mean, still a very nice looking figure. I hate how I have to do that. <laughs> uh, the, the figure itself, I do really like this because it does have that original um, cartoonish look to it, which I, I grew up with personally. So I do really like the way this guy looks. And it uses a lot of the modern technology of the new figure. So it's it's very nice in terms of that. In terms of articulation, his head rotates. It's on a bit of a ball joint, but it doesn't get much of a up and down movement. So it's kind of stuck, always looking down. It, can't go up at all the arms do rotate they go in and out bend at the elbow and they rotate at this section right here so you can get that nice of course it's nice that you have the blue painted repulsor blast there really nice coloring on the arc reactor itself other hand has the same type of thing um, rotate I mean it's it's fairly nice it, it's got really big hands though um, he can rotate due to do the hula hoop and then he's got the retarded legs where um you know if you want to turn them you have to kind of rotate and then bend down and rotate but the knees bend there's two joints at the knee feet rotate uh, i think that's it but one thing that i've noticed on here that the other figures i really haven't had is the uh repulsor well not really the repulsor but the thrusters here are painted blue on his feet too so that's really nice now as i said the main reason why i wanted to get this guy it's not for his standing ability i just don't know was for this and as you can see there's a little tiny tab right there we have one problem though when you position his legs and you get them uh situated how you want them and then you try to plug it on here, his feet don't stay in there. They're, it's completely loose. Um, I could probably put some uh, super glue on there to make the peg bigger, but you just stand them there. It doesn't peg in, at least on my figure. And nothing. And that fell over. Uh, so this is a total waste for me now, which is really disappointing. Comparing him to the 
Mark III Iron Man, as you can see, there there is a big difference in terms of the aesthetic. Like I said, a lot more yellow, and this is gold. Now, if I were to try to position his legs um, in a way that would have him blasting off on this one, again, nothing. Doesn't it doesn't stay at all? It, it's very disappointing. It's like the peg's not big enough. It's not wide enough but nothing works and I really wanted to be able to have it displayed kinda like this where it looks like he's flying which I thought would be really cool I, I thought it would be really cool but uh, so that's very disappointing in this very disappointing of course like I said he does come with this blast type thing which is just rubberized and you take it and you plug it into his hand and uh, it looks like he's blasting uh, sure, I suppose. All of them do come with the three card setup where you got the body, you got the head and the arms, and you have the legs, and you can put them together, make a nice Iron Man suit. You can plug it onto the stand, and you get a nice, almost kind of three dimensional look. Um, not so much, I suppose. <laughs> But then you just take this guy and he stands right back on there. Uh, overall, this is a more of a disappointment um, type of a figure. I, I'm really kind of, I mean, I like this. The accessories that come with it are kind of lacking. So I usually keep those hidden behind here and just keep the, the actual guy displayed. It looks really nice. I really like it. And then when you compare it, like I said, to the new aesthetic of him, uh, you can see that there are some similarities, but there are some vast differences vast differences as well. Um, as you can see, the arc reactor is actually a little bit bigger, yellow, more yellow, whereas this is a gold. I, I like this because I like the classic look. I like the old-fashioned style of Iron Man. Um, it, it's just the accessories that he's come with, they, they kind of disappoint. Now, I don't know if other ones are actually fairly good. If you guys have this and have a good version of this stand, let me know because I'm not entirely sure if it's just my figure or if it's the stands in general. So there you guys have them. The comic series Iron Man figure from the new Iron Man 2 3 and 3 quarter inch toy line. Until next time, this is Optimus. I'll talk to you later.